In today's video, we will learn about the IP command in Linux and explore 9 practical examples you can apply in your everyday Linux operations. So, let's get started. First, let's get to know the IP command. In Linux, the IP command enables users to configure network interfaces. It allows users to display and manipulate routing tables, network interfaces, and devices. Moreover, it lets you extract various network information and add new IP addresses. The basic syntax is a bit different. Let's break it down bit by bit. The option within the square brackets is not mandatory and we can pass multiple options at once. The object argument is the type of network attribute you want to work with. Lastly, the command argument specifies the action performed on the mentioned object. Now, there are several options and objects available. You can always use the man page to learn about them. First, open the terminal and type man IP. Enter. If you scroll down, you will get a list of different options and then a list of objects. Press Q to quit the man page. Without further delay, let's get down to the examples. Let's start with the basics. Open your terminal and type IP ADDR. Here, ADDR means address. Enter. You will get all the IP addresses of the available network devices on your system. What if you want to show all the network interfaces on your system? Simple. Use IP link show. Enter. You will get all the available network devices. Now, if you have a specific interface in mind, then use IP link show ENS33. Only the chosen network device will be shown. To filter network interfaces by their protocol address, you can use two options. First, to display only the IPv4 addresses, type IP4 ADDR. The IPv4 addresses will be shown in the terminal. In the second case, similarly to show the IPv6 addresses, just type IP6 ADDR. The IPv6 addresses will appear in the terminal. I've already mentioned you can add IP address. Now, let's see it in action. To add IP address, you must run the command as the super user. Then, use the address object and the add command. Here's the command syntax. sudo IP address add, then the actual IP address dev, then you have to give the device name. Let's do it practically. In the terminal, type sudo IP address add. Now, I'll type the IP address 192. Dot one six eight dot four eight dot two zero zero slash two four then dev and the device name ENS thirty three. Press enter to add this IP address. I have to give my password. Now type IP ADDR. You will find the newly added IP address at the bottom. accidentally added an IP address. Don't worry, removing an IP address is just as simple. In the previous example, I've shown you how to add it. Now, I'll show how to delete it. In the terminal, on the command prompt, just type sudo IP address del. Here, del is for deleting. Now, I'll type the previous IP address 192.168.48.2400. Slash 24 and the same dev ENS33. Press enter to delete the IP address. Now, if you type IP ADDR and enter, you can see that the new IP address which I added in the previous example has been removed. You can alter the status of network interfaces using the IP command. We need to run it as the super user to apply the setup or set down commands on the link object. Here, this is the command syntax. sudo ip link set dev, then the device name, then up or down. We'll show two cases. In the first case, to bring an interface up, type sudo ip link set dev ens33 up. 
press enter. Now type IP link show dev ENS 33. Enter. You'll see the interface status has been changed to up. Now in the second case, to bring an interface down, type sudo IP link set dev ENS 33 down. Enter. Now if you type IP link show dev ENS 33, you can see that the interface status is changed to down. If you want to display all the routing tables of the networks connected to your system, simply run the command IP route. The routing table of your system will be displayed. Here now it's empty. That's why it's displaying nothing. Lastly, we can alter the routing table of our network system. To do this, we have to run the commands as super user and use the add or del command on the route object. Here's the syntax for the command sudo ip route add or delete then the ip address dev then the device name. Here also I will show two cases. First I will show how you can add new route to the routing table. So in the terminal type sudo ip route add. Now I write the ip address which I want to add 192.168.48.0 24 dev ens 33 press enter now type ip root you can see the desired root is added to the existing table now i'll show how you can delete this to delete the desired root type sudo ip root del 192.168.48.0 slash 24 dev ens 33 now type again IP root. You can see the root is removed. And this completes our detailed discussion of the IP command with 9 practical examples. You can easily navigate the network landscape from displaying network information to handling network devices. For additional insights about the IP command, check out the article linked in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.